in the, in the um, let's say, of course, not in totally, but that's all I explained. And the people are, okay, it must be good. If you try to be more clever than you are, it's too difficult. This needs to be easy, duplicatable. Correct, sir? So, um, that's the presentation. When you do trainings, people just, you know, who wants to go back to school? No, no, I'm talking about school. So nobody wants to be in school and go back to school, correct? Yes. And then are teachers making money? Exactly. So why would you bother? Presentation, you talk about this opportunity. I'll tell you a bit later how. Okay? <coughs> Discipline. This is something that is lacking 99%. At least. Discipline means that you do it every day, all the time. You're never late. You never fail. You're always available. And you do it every day. You're like a soldier. Because this is business. And now I have to explain, because still people coming, and it's 25 minutes late. <laughs> Do you want to know what happens to you if you are not a good presentator when people are coming late? Do you want to know? Yes. Do you want to know? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So um, the only other word I want to hear is this translator. So let's put it this way. We started here today 12 o'clock. I was here 11.30. I didn't see no one. Okay. But I, it was not in the room. I took a picture when it was empty. So, uh, um, but normally there is the people who comes in the first row. These people who are here, they came here in time. Because they want to learn. Okay? Then comes the people who are about to learn. And then comes the big leaders who don't need to learn anything anymore because they know everything. And then there are the big businessmen who knows that they are so good and, yeah, I don't need this shit, huh? But hey, let's face it, let's look at the bank account. We can compare. I can compare. What happens actually is that these people behind, I'm not talking about you particularly, don't get offended, okay? You understand? But these people who come late, they are arrogant. And they want to have these um, croissants. They come here and I'm the superstar. Because everybody waits for me. Correct? All right. Then you start late. These people have been here sitting already 45 minutes. Waiting to get started. They are getting frustrated. These people are looking around. What the heck is happening here? because there's no discipline. And these people who came late, they don't give a shit anyway, because they will stay in their phones if you don't have a discipline. So if you're starting late all the time, you have full room of assholes. Because these people who wanted to learn, they don't care about it anymore. And they think it's a joke, and they didn't come here anyway. Do you, have, do you understand that? So your presentation is totally, totally useless. You're wasting everybody's time. So what do we learn from here? If the training starts 12 o'clock, when do you start it? <coughs> you start it sharp. Because that's the mindset of normal people. That's the mindset. Most of you who came here, that it doesn't really matter. But when you go to a work, and your work starts 8 o'clock, what time you are in the, in the office? Exactly! And what you do there, make a few hundred euros a month, and you go there like, <sighs> and you're scared that you're going to lose your job. I'm sorry, I don't work for no one. This opportunity, you know, if you work for one, two days, makes more money than you make in a month. If you do it perfectly, correct? Can, can you confirm? Correct. How much do you make money in a day, approximately? Have you ever calculated? In one day? Five to six thousand. Five to six thousand. Is that good? 
Yeah. How long did it take to you to learn? Two months. Two months. How many years you study? How many years you study to have an occupation? Fifteen years. Fifteen years, ten years, four years. Who cares? Here, when you listen and learn, somebody who knows, you can make five thousand a day. Would that be good money? Would that be good money? Yes. Yeah. Would that be good money? Yeah. Yes. Who would like to have it? Me. Tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Who would like to make ten thousand a day? Me. Good. Who is also willing to do something about it? Robot. <laughs> but that is exactly the truth, unfortunately. People don't understand the opportunity and the power of network. They disrespect them. That's why I urge you to learn and do it properly or don't do it at all because I don't want you to spoil our opportunity. If you are just fishing here, a little bit trying, go home. We don't need you. We don't want you. Because I want professionals. Who does agree? And who is not raising the hand, I will throw out. Who does agree? <laughs> oh, yeah, it was so long. <laughs> I picked up the smallest guy because I'm a little bit, you know. Yeah, I don't know. No, you're not the smallest. So do you follow what I'm trying to explain here, huh? It's yes, Gary. Come yes, on. Gary, yeah. Then it is there, the system. System makes it all happen. I'll explain that more properly a bit later. But when you use the system, it's like you have an office. It's like you have a job, you, like, you have a, a place to go to work, school, hospital. We also have a system. It's very easy. And when you follow that, everyone in your team will also be successful. So how many leaders you had Kent, two months ago who made money? Zero. How many leaders you have now have who makes money? Ten maybe. Ten. Do you understand what that means? After two months, he'll have 30 people who makes a lot of money. And uh, what's going to happen to you? Well, I'm going to ah, have my money. <laughs> look at the start of his face. He's from Estonia. Come on, you guys. How much you make in a year? <laughs> in Estonia, average. 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 Ten thousand. How many days you need to work to get the full annual salary in Estonia? Two days. Two days. One and a half days. <laughs> wow. And the, uh, I know that you should know that the. Uh, Compensation plan is also enhanced, correct? Yeah. It's even better now. And he did it with the old compensation plan. So for you guys, it should be a reason, correct? Yeah. Right. So the system is very important. United, to me, is the most important. Because I have the CNO, Chief Network Officer, whatever that means. But I'm going to take the full responsibility of network. There is no cross recording. There is no foolish things. If you come here to play the game, I'll throw you out. <laughs> Only good behavior is tolerated. Because we are building the biggest network ever in the planet. Wow! So it has to be solid from the beginning. It has to be strong. You've got to be understanding that you need to be professional. And you need to be also secured by me, by the company, by the leaders, that whatever you build remains to be yours. Correct? Yes. Because in so many places, in so many network companies, the companies fail. Is that correct? Is that correct? Is that correct? Yes. Yes. In so many companies, they fail because the company fails, not the people. If a person 
person next to you is like this. What should you do? What should you do? Throw him out. Nope. Nope. If the person is like that, when you're presenting, you say this. <laughs> you stop talking. Body language is something that is going to come a bit later, but you need to learn how to read the body language. First of all, you are not making notes. Correct? Correct. And then you are blocking and you think that you're better or you're arrogant that you just don't want to listen or you have a bad habit. But it blocks your mind. This is a sign that I don't, I don't deliver, I don't get it. Correct? Sorry about that, but this is it. Sorry. It's okay. Thank you, but you know, when you see these people, if you are talking and people are like that, then you are talking nonsense. Your message is not going through. You understand that? And then that's why your hands need to move and you need to make notes, like this gentleman here. Even though I was a little bit rude to him, but he's making notes, correct? Because that is super important. United, united, united. Means that we work together. When someone has a presentation, everybody is welcome. I don't want any teams or any my team or this and you cannot come because then we are also going to fail. Do you want me to explain? If I would work with this team, all of you for one week here, and I would kick your ass all the time. Next Saturday, there will be 2,000 people here somewhere in Tallinn, minimum. But if, if I leave you go now, and you do an event, there will be 200. Because you go like a chicken, everywhere, without the system. But if you work unitedly and you start using the system, and you spread around, let's, let's imagine that we're not in Estonia, because it's a such a small country. We are in a little bit bigger country, like Spain. Who likes to be in Spain? Anyway, so there are lots of cities. You all start to work the system. This city, that city, that city, there, there, there. You spread around and start to make the presentation every day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And everybody's invited. You're going to have a presentation in Bilbao. And you put that on the Facebook. And you have a person there. And she comes, but you don't recruit him or her. And vice versa. You are having a presentation in Taku, for example. And when we do this and help each other, Everybody wins. Sometimes you send a person, you get a person. Sometimes not. But everybody gains. If you try to cross recruit, it's a space the system. The person most probably will not even start. But if it starts, it'll stop because that person is going to talk bad about that. And there's a fight. So don't do that. Make sense? There is 7 billion people in the planet. Even more, I believe. Seriously? No. I'm so old. In, in the world. So, um, nevertheless, there's about 150 million people that is working in the network market. Everybody has heard about it. And everybody has an opinion about it. Who was in my presentation yesterday? I explained about the opportunity. So I've been educating with my system past previous two, three years, three, four hundred million people about the cryptocurrency. The world is ready. And we have now the right company. Target on those people who have heard about it. So many wants to come into this world. So many. I believe hundreds of millions. I believe this year we're going to have millions. You know, 24, 25, 27, then you know why. But we're going to have a massive amount of people joining because we know what we're doing. 
So talk to everybody. And united in the work. Chains. Chains. Ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Chains is something why you came here today. Do you know why I like eagle so much? Not eager, but eager too. Eagle. <laughs> Arioli. Do you know? They change it. Why? What do you think when you see an eagle? Or I can be a wolf also. Because he flies. Ah, but wolf is it's also a good story. But what about eagle? He flies high. Flies high. What do you think about eagle? He's free. Free. Absolutely free. Big picture. Bigger picture. And C is far. C is far. What else? Fast. Powerful. It takes what it wants. But for me, eagle represents the chains. Do you know the story? How it goes? When it turns to 30, 40 years old, it wings doesn't anymore carry the bird. Nails get soft, also the nose. And it has to make a difficult decision. Change or die. So they start the painful, <coughs> takes out the feathers, <coughs> one by one, climbs out the mountains, takes out the paws, kicks out the nose. And that painful process lasts about four to five months. And if it survives, usually they do. I don't know how, but the feathers get back, nose get back, and the balls get back, and it rises again to its wings, more stronger and powerful, and it flies another 30 years. That's why you are here. I would say that almost everybody here today need to change. I only see a few professionals here. You need to change because whatever you did doing before, you have come to this point. You can see your bank account and count how many days you can live. Because that's, that's your balance. I think it's very bad, huh? <laughs> who thinks it's, you know, who feels the pain here? Yeah. Because that's the truth. You think you're doing this, you've been doing, trying something. Two years, five years, ten years. You have a salary, you would like to go to holidays, but you can. And still go back to the work. Or still you do the same thing, whatever you've done before, because I will make it happen without knowing how to do it. You need to change. And that's us today. First of all, you need to know where you're going. Who has this uh, goal written somewhere? Map, life maps, uh, road maps, written goals? All right, they're all bullshit. <laughs> because, well, okay, Ken's is not because he's making money. But that's how it is. It's not good enough. People even don't know how to create goals, how to make the goals because they don't know where they're going. Why they don't know where they're going? Because they don't know how to dream. Because it's forbidden because you want to be normal. You want to please everybody. Oh no, oh, yeah. I've become rich enough after 10 years. <laughs> Who has this 10 years I've become a millionaire? Do you know what happens after nine and a half years? Oh, let's give it another five years because I'm still a millionaire. If the goal is not big enough, if it's not that big that it's making you sick, it doesn't work. People don't know what they want. You want what your parents want, you want what your wife wants, your husband, your kids. You want to please everybody. Correct? Let's do a little bit practice. Now everybody calm down. Close your eyes. Shut up. Picture your perfect life in front of your eyes. And see it now. You can open your eyes. How does it make you feel? Hey, you can open your eyes. How does it make you feel? How does it make you feel? I feel great. You 
little bit afraid. How does it make you feel? Very afraid. How does it make you feel? Good. Why don't you feel that always? Why don't you feel that always? You know, a little bit about goal setting. Not too much, but a little bit. But you need to rewrite your goals tonight. <laughs> Who's going to do it? Come on, I want to see every hand. You need to rewrite your goals tonight. I'll tell you why and how. You're born and your childhood. You're five, six, seven. Life is Krasiva, fantastic, amazing, princess, princesses, toys, and fun, and happy life. Correct, normal. Then you become a teenager, you know, changes a little bit, a little bit fighting, complication. Then you come 15, 16, 17. And what happens in that age? You say to your mom and dad, you don't know nothing. I'm the best. Mama stupid, Papa stupid, correct? Yes. Who has teenagers? Is that correct? Yes. Who wants to confess that I am I was that teenager? <laughs> that you know everything? <laughs> and you fight with your mom and dad? <coughs> Alright. So what happens next? You go to the mandatory part of school, correct? And then you go to a high school, university, whatever. Correct? Yeah. But not to the school you wanted. You go to the school where your points are enough, or your friends go, or your parents tell you. They want to be to be doctor, engineers, nurses, whatever, correct? Yeah. But you don't go to the school you wanted. Most of the case. And then you are in the school and after a couple of years. What happens? <laughs> Mom and dad gets fighting because they finally invite each other that they don't like each other, and they don't help you anymore, mm. and you don't pay anymore. So you're suddenly alone, yeah. uh, and I need to pay my bills. What do you do? You go to work, <laughs> cleaning, hamburgers, pizza, correct? But you do something that you didn't want to do, correct? Just to survive. All right, and then what happens? The next phase is you see that, oh, people get in love. Wow, they find somebody and, wow, they get married and they start to make babies. And what happens? You go home and where is the grandchildren? You're not married, you're stupid, huh? And what happens to you? You try to look somebody and you take somebody, let's get married, yeah, and let's make babies. And there you are both, happy, married kids. Wow. What's wrong with the baby? <laughs> you need to sell them. <laughs> because you need to work, but that's a bit later. Listen, well, now we are here in the part that the school is finished, and you both are working the wrong job. You studied the wrong profession. Correct? And then you start to survive because the kids, and after 7, 10, 15 years, you see your friend in a park and say, hey, how are you? I'm fine. And I'm, yes, I'm fine. And you both know you totally fucked up your life. <laughs> because you find out, oh my god, I don't love that person at all. But you start to survive for the marriage, for the kids. And that goes on, 40 years. Some divorce, some don't. <laughs> James, <coughs> you need to know what you want. And I mean that if you are a married couple here, I don't want you to divorce. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not mean, but I'm explaining most of the people go through this. But you need to have your own separate goals. Of course, common ones, but you need to know what you want. Who wants to have a better car? Everybody wants to have a better car. Who wants to have, have a better apartment? Everybody wants to have a better apartment. Who wants to make more money? Everybody wants to make more money. If somebody's saying that I don't want to make money, go away from that person. He's sick or taken to the hospital. There's something wrong with this person. <coughs> 
You know why that is? Because when you're living in society like we are living here, you need to pay your bills. Electricity, dentist, gasoline, whatever. If you don't agree, go live in the mountains or the forest. Eat, you know, grass and mushrooms. No internet, no Facebook. Who could imagine life without Facebook? Not possible. James, your goals. The goal is something that makes you sick. It's not a house in the Spain. It's a villa with 10 cars and a yacht. Private jet. It needs to be something that is really big what you really want. Or you want to build a church or 10 schools. Whatever your goal is, but it has to be big. When you write it, double it. With this opportunity, you can write it crazy numbers. I know that Kent will make about 10 million next year, this year. 10 million. If he continues to do what he's doing. Is that a lot? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. It's a good start. You can't live on it, but it's a good start. <laughs> but this is the opportunity. So it has to be big, so rewrite your goals today. Then the next thing is even more important. Get rid of the bad people. Negative people, bad people, who drags you down. Who has these uh, friends that sending you the uh, letters that this uh, networking business is, is, you know, it's a pyramid scheme? You have these friends? Who has these friends telling you that it's not okay what you do? And you are calling them, but you've been in my training, so. Delete them. They're not your friends, they're your enemies. And you will be surprised how close are your enemies. You don't need them. You know, you see your... Who loves the mother-in-law? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So you close your eyes. It's a little bit but anyway, so you see mother-in-law calling, and you know that she's gonna complain. Okay. What do you do? Because you're weak. You open the phone and listen, and then you get more down, more down. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know what happens. Well, then your friend calls, who is working, he maybe makes 100 euros a month more, or has a little bit higher position, but only slightly. He calls you, oh, you're doing this shitty job. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know this. Kari is so stupid, he's jumping up and down. He has this crazy vertical. Yeah, I know. That brings you down. Whatever you do after this day, after this training, delete minimum two people from your phone and do it in a break. If you can do five, I guarantee that you wake up tomorrow morning and you have a smile in your face and you don't know where it comes from. But I tell you, because when you have those people around you, it's in your brains and it's there unconsciously. You understand? It remains there. It's hiding there, just waiting to be exploded. And you're afraid of your phone that, oh my God, he's going to call again. And then they will, because they can. Because they don't want you to be successful. What would be more inconvenient? You know, you know, normal people have this Toyota Corolla Corolla. Make noise. <laughs> you know this. Oh, Siguri, Lara. Correct? And then your neighbor has the same car. Toyota Corolla Corolla Corolla. Whatever. Piece of shit car. And then you, then you talk about, yeah, it's very good. It's only 15 years old and it has 900,000 kilometers in it, but it still goes good. It's very convenient. Yeah? You know, uh, Everything under 600 horsepower is not a car to me. So if you talk about Audi, Mercedes, whatever, it's not a car for me. I can tell you what is a car. But 
But when you have these poor cars, which you are so proud of driving, number one, you cannot recruit anyone because people don't want to join you if you have a bad car. But then if it happens that you work and uh, Niels gives you business, and then you go to Rimi with your business, and your friend who is calling you, trying with this guy, <laughs> What happens? <laughs> he gets furious! And why you are shopping? <laughs> With a key. Right? That is the worst thing that can happen to your friend. That if you become successful. Correct? What? <laughs> That's the truth. Yes. When I'm driving with my Ferrari or Lamborghini, people take pictures. And usually when I go to training, so uh, I did leaders training. Did you see my Lamborghini there? They say, yes. Did you look inside? Yeah, it was amazing. Then I say, do you know that this is so wrong? And they are, why, it's a beautiful car. Do you know what you should do? You should sit inside of the car. <laughs> it makes a big difference, huh? Yes. Change behavior, habits, and thinking. Do you also want to know? Let's let's keep the Lamborghini because I love Lamborghini. It's, it's a car. It's real. Why you think that you cannot have a car here in Tallinn, like Lamborghini. Uh -huh. <laughs> what else? It consumes a lot of gasoline, correct? You can drive about 20 minutes at full gas and then it's empty. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then there are the spoilers that they go broke, they're expensive. This is the mindset of a normal person. I have these cars and I don't mind. If it broke, so I buy a new one. <laughs> you understand that? But because you don't have the right mindset, you, oh, I cannot buy a Lamborghini. Who cares if it broke buy a new one? Make the money. People think these things. And then, yeah, yeah, I, I drive my Toyota for a It's only consumed seven liters. But have you heard Lamborghini price 60 liters in 20 minutes? Amazing. Who cares? You just need to find the stato, stato, stato. <laughs> <laughs> what is the simple game? Simple game. <laughs> Who did invent the name? Simple <laughs> game. Anyway, change. Can, can, can he, can I? Are you with me? Yeah, yeah. Fine. Change. And the last thing is just open up your skull. Take out your brains. It's slimy, gray, <laughs> smells bad, and looks bad. Do you know what you need to do with your brains? <laughs> See you next summer! I'm busy to become successful! Oh, who didn't understand? This is not a rocket science. But you know. You don't need the brains. It's your biggest enemy. Now we come back to the goal. When your goal is right, it makes butterflies in your stomach. Do you know where that comes from? It's the brains fighting with the heart. Because when you do the goal right from here, you do the things from here, you feel it right. But your stupid brains tries to keep you normal and it fights. And that's the pain. Until the goal is not big enough, you don't have this butterfly. Okay? You understand? So, Chase, take it right away. Throw away your brains. You don't need money. If you start to think, you lose the game. Correct it. Do you have brains? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but switch it off. 
Because you are the best person to yourself to make an excuse. Okay, it's raining. Oh, Kari is starting 12. I can come 12 30. It's not important. Uh, I need to make a phone call. Maybe tomorrow. Oh, it's a uh, formula game. Oh, I need to do my aerobics. But there's a train here, but I need to do my aerobics. I need to walk the dog. You need to change. When you have a plan, you talk to your spouse, your wife, your mom, and dad, whoever you with is involved in your life. So that chow in three months, this is a refrigerator. You open it. If there is a food, eat. If there is no food, try to find something. I go, chow. You need to announce what you're doing. And start doing it. I hear all the excuses. And with Kent, I have to tell that he is the master. And the truth is that I will say it anyway. I've been training with thousands of people. But he's the fucking champion of excuses. <laughs> he was so, he even got me exhausted. And I kind of failed when I tried to help him a couple of years ago. He was totally asshole. And I couldn't believe how much people can do things opposite and different and still complain and find a way. Yeah, I did my best. What? You remember the time? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, we are here to help you. We are here who are here and who have been in the business a little bit longer. It doesn't matter how we look or do or what. Ignore that. If I don't, if you, if you think I'm stupid, who cares? But read the message and listen because we know how to do it. So you don't need to think. You just do it. But. You cannot do it if you are not confident, because you didn't learn, because you don't have a plan, because you don't know the system. You understand that? Because you don't believe, because you have the bad people around you, because you don't have the goal. Do you follow me? <coughs> there is so many things lacking. It only took me an hour, and this is my first flight. Four did you go? <laughs> so, um, this is change. Oh, this is yeah, but it needs the action. And that is what people forget. They think that you know it happens by itself. But do you know what? When I started this, whatever I start, how do all the big leaders always make a massive success? Why? Why? Because they do the massive, gigantic action from the day one when they start. They don't wait. Because the more you wait, the more your friends is gonna hear about, and the more you lose the opportunities. And that makes you sick, sad. You understand? Rookie, Hans, you're still losing yourself. You know, I'm just explaining you. Try to get blocking there. So, um, Tony Robbins is a good guy, but I'm better. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Much better. Oh, you don't agree? <laughs> All right, but that's that's what my mom said. So you're so good. All right. All right. How to make success? Change a little. It's the bus. Buzz. You only need to do one thing. And you only, only can do one thing. If you are working for somebody offering a million dollar opportunity or a hundred billion dollar opportunity as we speak, nobody believes you. If you drive with an old car, nobody believes you. If you don't do something for yourself, nobody believes you. So you need to also freshen up a little bit like this and buy a watch or whatever. I'll tell you an example about recruiting. When you come to a meeting and you ladies have a new Gucci, shoes and dress and the Dior bag, you put that on the table and you look beautiful. 
What is what is your friends going to say? Wow, what happened to you? Or you put your Lamborghini keys on the coffee table and then you look at your 30,000 euro watch. Yeah, you came on time. You don't need to explain if you changed. So invest in yourself a little bit. Buy a nice shoes, suit, something that they see that you're changed. And then starts the buzz. And your only conversation is about this business. If your friends call to you, hey, let's go party on Friday. Why the hell are you calling here? <laughs> I'm working. I'm busy. Get away from it. You need to block this for the next 90 days, 120 days, half a year. Why? Because you need to become successful. If that is why you came here. Who came here for to become successful? Good. So you need to block these thoughts in your mind. And there is no holidays, there's no parties. There is nothing, these vacations, free time, watching TV, sex, okay, well, maybe quickly in the kitchen. So don't do that in Russia. So, I can translate. Focus. If you focus in one thing, you get about 90% out of it. Or even 100. I get 120 because I'm so damn good. Correct? If you have two things, you need to divide your time. You get only 25% out of any of these entities. If you have a job, if you have a network, and you have something else to do, you call salsa or papa or whatever, wasting your time now, you, you have to divide your time. It's only 10% chance that you make any success. It's a waste of time. <laughs> network marketing is a full-time business. It means that you need to work 20, 22 hours every single day. Then you think, how can I, where is my sleep? Well, I did about a couple hours last night. I think something like two, yep. maximum. <laughs> I have no time. You don't need to sleep. You get the energy from the work, from the success. You need to be awake and available. Yeah, yes, you can sleep six hours, eight hours. It's OK. You don't need to be that crazy. But it's work every day. And this is what people don't get. So they think that they're a little bit too, one hour, two hour per day, and then they think they become like Ken. How many hours you work, Ken? 17, 18. Every day. Every day. How many countries you've been last two months? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> More than 10. Who, who likes to travel? See. Doing this work, you can travel. The past means this. You talk only about this. If people come to talk to you, <laughs> have you seen this new TV show? <laughs> have you heard about that coin? That's the only thing you talk about. Because that's your business. If they don't like you, that's their problem. It's not your problem. And if people come to say to you that, Oh, Kari, I have a problem. Do you know what I say to them? Stay away. I don't want your problems. You can keep your problems. I don't have them at all. Because leaders don't have any problems. They have only issues that they solve. People coming with problems, they don't make any money. When I call to Kent, I ask how it is. Fantastic! Why? Because he makes money. He has no problem. But maybe the problem is where I put the money. But poor people has always problems. Negative people has always problems. Happy people don't have any problems. And people who make money, they don't have problems. So for me, when you have a problem, I have a solution. Do you know what that is? Talk to people. Presentation, presentation, presentation. Call people, talk to people. 
and your problems will go away. Do you understand? Excitement. Everything is said. What is the product we're here selling? Help me out, shut up. <laughs> what is the product we're selling here? Those people who know, just don't spoil it. Yourself. <laughs> anyway, people say that we sell cryptocurrency, money, freedom, blah, blah, blah. But the product is exactly yourself. You need to become a person that people like. You didn't get it. You need. I was making you marks. Okay, yeah. thank you. That, you know, not hitting, but just making the marks what I would like to do to you. Okay. No, no offense. So, so where else? So you need to become a person that people like you. Not everybody will ever like you, but who cares? But you need to change yourself to a person. And you learn it. And do you know what is the easiest thing? What is the easiest thing? Be happy, and even though it's the doors, you don't attract the That's it. It's the cheapest way to get people attracted. When I go there, airports, I hotels, and everywhere, if I want to talk to somebody, I just go on this, and immediately there is somebody who wants to talk to me, and then they say to me, "Hey, what you doing? Do you know what I say?" I make money. <laughs> but I really make money. Why? I have these money Mondays. What? Yeah, I don't actually work, but I make money. Then they are confused. They say, well, yeah, I make cryptocurrency. I'm building the new currency to the world. Oh, I heard about it. People making crazy money. Why you are not that in? And then you explain. We are the biggest opportunity in planet, the most convenient one. We're gonna break all the records. Put another zero. You can pay me that soon. It's gonna skyrocket. It's the most amazing. It's the best technology. Pop, two minutes and sign up. <laughs> Take the money and next. All right. People need people credibility. So you need to become confident. Some say that fake it until you make it is not okay. I say it's very okay. Because you need to start from somewhere. And it's, it's a bit hard to get started. It is really hard work for some people. Especially if you have a bad upline. If you have a good upline, it's easy. So make sure that you demand the guy, the girl, person who joined you. <coughs> that they'll help you because you need the credibility. You don't have it in the first part, but then when you go to meet the first people, have the sponsor with you to help. That is the credibility. Your credibility grows inches when you today throw out two to five people from your phone. You become more confident because they're bothering. When you change your goals, rewrite your goals. Let's do it again. Now, three, close your eyes. Open. Am I still right? Does it make you feel good? So you understand? Yeah. It comes a good feeling. So everything is sale and sale is everything. Everything you need to do about this is about showing out. Do you know why I came with the wolf jacket yesterday? I guarantee you will remember that 100 years. Correct? Make something different. You go to hairdresser and make it red your hair. <laughs> and then what happened to you? I was in the training, I want to make money. <laughs> something. Think about it, all right? You're still awake or you're sleeping? 
Are you okay? Yes. Are you okay? Yes. Are you okay? Yes. Come on, you know, it's, it's okay to say something. You know, if I would be Anthony Robbins, do you know what we would be doing now? Boom, 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 boom. I love you, Anthony. It's okay, but it's. Yeah. <laughs> Power battle. I'm challenging him because we need to be better and bigger than him, all right? So uh, we're going to have about 100 Anthony Robbins in our company because some of you will become better than him. Why? Because we are the best company in the planet. We demand. So, power button. Work only with active and positive people. <laughs> if somebody has always a problem, leave that person be. Get them to training, get them to listen. If they don't understand, does it on your And positive, active. Active means that if they even pay their starter package, 100, who cares? Then? They're uncommitted. It's no use. They will never do it anyway. Then you did something wrong. And um, always, I have to remind you, present the biggest packets. Always. Because you never know. I have been in so many cases surprised by the power of people and their way of commitment they want to do after training. A couple of years back, I was somewhere in Kazakhstan, in Akhtarao. Who's been there? Aturao, Kazakhstan. You know the place by the sea? Is it Akhtarao or Aturao? By the sea, Aturao. Anyway, I went there training, there was like 300 people. And then a lady came, 45, whatever, nice looking, very polite. And I would like to join. And I said, yeah. How much do you think? Yeah, I would like to have two, something, whatever. And I said, okay, so bring me the money. And he, she came in the afternoon. 250,000 euros cash in two bags. You <laughs> said, you think I'm going to fly with this cash through Moscow back to Europe? You must be insane. <laughs> but always talk about the biggest package. Why you talk about it? Why? Because it's the best. If you have a hundred packets, the chance somebody buys the big packet is pretty low, correct? But if you have a big packet, the chances that people do what you do, monkey see, monkey does, is pretty high, correct? If you don't have it yet, I would say that you need to do everything to have it. And I know that you will not regret. That is the most best decision you ever done. Because that'll help your business. That makes you secure for the rest of your life. If we do it correctly, if we work correctly, if we are professional, if we don't fight, if we build it properly from the day one, Who's with me? Thank you. Dream big and love what you do. You need to love the money, love the cars, love the travel, love the people. But how can that you not? I think this network industry is full of amazing people and personalities, correct? Right? A lot of different people. And you must love what you do, but you will when you learn to do it. When you learn and be here and study and do this, and you, then you got the mindset like I do, you would never quit. You cannot stop. I don't need to work. I have enough everything. I have enough everything. But why, why I'm here? Because one of you, two of you, three of you will become like Kent out of this room after this train. And do you know what I love the most? When I see you next time after two, three months, or in Dubai, you come to tell me that, Kari, there was something in your training. And I went full power in full action. And look at, here I am, Blue Diamond. Where is my Mercedes Benz? 
and I feel good about it. I feel very good about it if I can make people make money. You must have one. You know, people leaving, they stay poor. I don't mind. Do you understand? That's the power. That's the power because you can help somebody to make money. You can make money. Oh, I'm blessing. Do you believe that you can make 100,000? How would make that deal? Yeah, but what if you would make it before you go to Dubai? Would that be fun? To make hundred thousand for Everybody would like to do that. That makes you feel great. And that's why I'm here, because you don't need any education, no schooling, no before. You can do it too. Make your notes. Okay. You can do it too. Everybody can do it. It doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, what's your age. What you've done before. If it's a start, you can do it. How old are you? 20. You are old enough. You only need to be 18. <laughs> everybody can do it. And then let everybody know it, that you're going to do it. Why? Why do I speak about big vision? Why do I speak about big numbers? Because I challenge myself. I always make my goals. And I surprise them. I set my goals ridiculously high. And I surprise them. <clears throat> my next goal is to make 10,000 an hour. Not crony. Euros. <laughs> Would that be OK? When you say that, that you, how much do you make money? 10,000? And then you continue in an hour. Can you recruit? <laughs> no, no, no. All right. Habits. Make it simple. See clarity. Don't overthink. See clarity. If you think something is difficult, look away. Find simple ways to do it. And this, the next one is, you know, when I come to room, what happens? Light comes. Exactly. When people come to room, they go, oh. and then they go to sit in the classroom. When I come to room, I say, hey, how are you guys? Light up the room, make the noise. <laughs> Raise the necessity, keep insisting focus from yourself. If you are sitting three days in a row in a local pub drinking beer, you need to ask yourself, am I achieving my goals? You need to focus. Work harder than anybody else, challenge. Make a competition, healthy competition. Healthy competition is who's gonna beat Kent? Healthy competition. Abo, are you gonna beat? Can you beat? He is much younger than you. He has been less in the industry. But make a healthy competition. Okay? And then this is important. Even though when you came here, you know that you don't know, you are a little bit insecure, you're not confident, but still you need to build that in within yourself. Because you can do it. You can do it. And those tips that hopefully you wrote down and do today, in the evening, before you go to sleep, you will be the first, you will be a new person in the world. But you need to start today. 
If you don't start today, you will not start tomorrow because you have another excuse why not to start. If you don't start after this training to call people, this was a waste of time for you. It's the action. When I stop training, I have probably 200 messages in my phone. What I do, I work. But do you know what I do? I seek first, okay, my wife, and then the second, who wants to join. New person, say, hi, Kari, how are you doing? Hey, what about that guy? And that is what I answer. But that happens when you have confidence. Yeah? Make money now? Make money for him. Do you understand? Who understand the vision that I tried to explain yesterday? Who didn't? Show me the hand. Who did not understand? Only you. Yeah, I translate. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, we have a lot of things in common. Now your only focus is put as much people in the system as possible before the launch. Because we're gonna build momentum over momentum. That's the only thing you need to think of now. Because you have the craziest offer that I don't know how many bottles of vodka Nils has been drinking when he decided to give that 3% per week away. When I saw that first time, I said, Are you insane? Use it. There is a big, big, big plan coming. Then the next thing is kitchen, kitchen. Who don't know what is kitchen? Who doesn't know what is kitchen? Kitchen. Can you say kitchen? Kitchen. 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 That's the next thing. Because eighty percent out of the uh, transactions, commissions goes to the network. It is amazing. Make money now, make it forever. The more the packages, the more the units, the coins you're gonna get now, you're gonna be living with them forever. If we do it correctly. If we all unitedly has the same mission. So, but you need to discover how to become professional. I would recommend and Eric Borre, I'm gonna to come to you because I sell millions of your books. If you haven't read Eric Borre, Seven Step Go Pro, read it, two hours, done. It's super good. Listen to maybe Tim Ron. Learn. Discover how to become professional. But you need to do that. It's not that I'm gonna force it you to have it because you need to want to have it. You need to want to have to be successful. I can tell hours and hours and you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm so good and my dad is so rich. So, but it's okay. But you need to want to have it. But you will, when you get out of your excuses, when you get out of your excuses and you start to work it, you can come to successful. Correct? Because this will happen with or without you. With or without you, learn yourself and be teachable. I'm also learning every day. Every day I'm learning. The day you stop learning is the day you start dying. Do you understand that? Keep learning every day. Listen to something, read something, talk to somebody. See something. All right. This is the magic consistency. I listened to Ken yesterday, but he was a little bit modest to talk about how unsuccessful he was actually. Because I remember when we were in Thailand, and I told him exactly how the system goes, and how it should be going. 
And I explained that next day you need to have already 20 people or 50 people if you do this and this and this. And there was one. There was one in the first meeting. But in the later meeting, there was more people. Yeah. How disappointed he was. What did I do? I say, fantastic! You actually get one person in a strange country and you don't even speak the language. I was supporting him. He, I hear the voice that he was a bit down. But it's going to be better. And there was more people. And then I, I call again, how many people, how many people? And I called and I was excited. Wow, crazy! What did you know? Nobody signed up. <laughs> Next day, there was a little bit more people in the morning, a little bit more people in the evening. And I was, you're doing good, but nobody's signing. And then the third day, there was a little bit less people, but somebody signed up. And Ken was, wow, I got my first people in Thailand. And I was like celebrating, wow, what was the package? Hundred dollars, yeah! In the end of that week, you signed up 50, more, 56, or oh, no, it's yeah. seven. 70 people approximately. Almost 70 people. Consistent. It's like when you are a ice hockey or basketball or you, you practice. You practice. You practice. You do it again, 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 again. You understand? Again and again and again. You will make mistakes.